Hi friends, today we're going to be doing another dupes video. This is cheaper and better. This is high-end or luxury makeup that I replaced with drugstore makeup and I have so much fun doing this. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you do decide to stay a while and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon also so that you can be notified of any future videos that I upload immediately when I do upload them. And if you've been here for a while, again, thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family and everyone would you please just take a second and give the video that thumbs up it does help my video out so very much to get generated more and I do appreciate it very much so let's get into the drugstore dupes right now I am super excited about this because I think this might be my best dupes video so far I don't know I've had so many and I will link a playlist down in the description box I love doing this and I specifically buy high-end makeup just so that I can dupe it for you guys because I feel like a lot of these products they are easily dupable at the drugstore now granted there are some that are just really really good products and you don't necessarily want to go out and look for them at the drugstore but i would tell you that if they were and i feel like paying like fifty dollars versus ten dollars for something is a huge difference for most of us especially in the times that we live in so what i'm gonna start with is one that i was really surprised by because i didn't expect this at all and it is from becca and this, this is called the anti-fatigue under eye primer and i think this is a really nice product I have had a little bit of a problem using this. I'll just tell you guys that right off the bat. When you put your finger in this, um, it ve it's very silicone-y. You can feel this dimethicone or the silicone in it, so it has that slip. I don't really find that it has the anti-fatigue or, you know, deep puffs or whatever that you're kind of talking about, but it does have a nice slip to it. So if you're going to use it underneath your eyes or if you already love it, you know that you need a very small amount. So just kind of pat your finger in there and really lightly dab underneath your eyes. So I have found that on winter months, this is great. Um, I don't necessarily lose, use this in the summer months because it just kind of makes things as I get my hot flashes and I'm really, really warm and I sweat, kind of makes things crease a little bit more. But in the winter, I do love it. But it's an expensive little number. It's like 30 something dollars for this. So the other day I was perusing Ulta and I thought, Oh my goodness. So this one is from J Cat Beauty. This is the Eye Assurance Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Priming Corrector or Primer. And this one, you guys, is really exactly like it. I mean, I'm sticking my fingers in here. It does actually feel just a little bit more of that slip. So it almost feels like it just isn't quite as dry as the Becca one is, if that makes sense. But at the same time, you guys, this is this is an identical product. I mean, look at the color that they chose. Look at the Becca one. I mean, uh-huh. The, the green doesn't show up, just so you know. It doesn't show up. It goes on very clear. Here's my fingers, and I can't swatch it for you. There's nothing on there um, that would show up. It's very clear. But you guys, if you've been wanting to try this and you're like, I can't afford the big bucks, then try this J-Cat one because for real, you guys, it's really truly just the exact same product. So I just found that one and I was like, yay, that's so cool. The next one I happened to cross very much by accident. You guys all know the Beckett Backlight Priming Filter. This is a beautiful filter. It just really looks gorgeous on the skin and basically it is a very sheer, almost a hydrating product when you put it on. You can use it, you know, on top of your cheeks if you want to as your makeup, um, you know, as your highlighter for your makeup, but mostly this is used as a primer or something that makes your skin look very dewy and very luminous. This is a little travel size or trial size that I got of the new Physicians Formula Spotlight Primer. Same exact theory, although I feel like this one is probably just, I can't get a tiny amount of that out. This one is probably just a tiny bit more luminous than the other one. And they all, they both look really luminous and one's right here, you guys. I kind of put the Becca one right here. And then this one right here is the Physician's Formula. I really like it, you guys. I think it's a really great product. But again, you know what? I think that they are exact. I mean, I don't think that this one is better than this one. They dry down the same way. They feel very hydrating the same way each one does. 
you don't need as much as the pump puts out that's one thing both of these kind of have the drawback is i feel like you could use like a half a pump so keep that in mind as you're pumping it out you don't need a full pump i don't anyway need a full pump of it but i really like this and i really liked that physician's formula duped it and i feel like they got it spot on now the l'oreal lumi glotion is the one that i showed last for this one and i do really like the l'oreal one but this one gives you another choice in case you hadn't picked that other one up seems like everybody's finally hit that bandwagon so i think that's great okay oh. you guys i finally did it i finally bit the bullet and i got the charlotte Til tilbury airbrushed flawless finish setting powder okay it is an extremely fine powder you guys i can see what everybody's talking about it's super duper creamy it's super fine the hype is real you guys i do feel like that is the case here this dupe is not my dupe just so you guys know but i felt like because it is such a popular product it's such a cult favorite that i wanted to share this dupe with you this actually comes from jessica braun and she's the one that actually said this in the beginning i thought that the flower beauty would be a nice dupe for it or had been told that it would have been nice dupe for it and i still kind of feel like that so keep that one in mind the flower beauty light illusion is a good dupe for it so jessica braun she's the one that talked about the number seven lift and luminate pressed powder and i really do think she hit it you guys because this powder is such a nice soft powder it's not quite as buttery as the charlotte tilbury is but it's really darn close you guys and i think that it's one of those ones that you could be very happy with if you chose this instead of the charlotte tilbury and i'm also going to show you what ounce for ounce it works out to be because the charlotte tilbury has hardly anything in here now granted the packaging isn't the same but i'm telling you that this packaging i feel like is a little bit nicer than the charlotte tilbury i don't know it just feels a little weightier but some people really like this gold packaging as well. So honestly, you guys, I think that you can really save a lot of money with this one that Jessica talked about in her video. All right, so for a long time, my very favorite eyeliner that was a felt tip pan was Kat Von D Trooper. And I've kind of gone over to Stila. I like Stila's a lot. You can get them, usually you can get them on the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty for half off. And my black one had had gone out and I had a ton of other um, black ones that were drugstore. So I kind of picked up this brown one to see, you know, if I liked it as well. I love this pen. Let me show you the pen. See how fine that little tip is? And really that's what I need to go such a tight line across my upper mascara line or my upper eyelashes there. And it does, it gives the teeniest, tiniest line. Hopefully you guys can see that. It gives just such a tiny line. It doesn't like drip out or anything like that. And I love that about it. But you guys recently ELF, and it says it's new on their website. So I'm just going by that. If, if it's been out for a while, I apologize. But recently ELF came out with theirs in a waterproof formula. And that's what I love about the Stila is it really is is very long lasting stays on your eyes forever well this elf one does just about the same thing you guys and that one is going to look a little thicker and a little bit wider because this one is a brand new one the steel is one is a little bit like about a year old or so but anyway i feel like the two of these and the way they perform on my eyes are exactly the same but i think this one is like six dollars whereas this one is 20 something so i feel like this is a huge dupe that is so good so if you're looking for something to kind of step into and wanting the same great quality as the Stila one. I really feel like the e.l.f. one has duped it out and it's really, really a good one. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. So we're gonna talk about this product right here, which is Benefits Roller Lash. This is a great mascara for lifting, separating, and keeping your curl. And that's what this really was designed for at the beginning when they first brought this out, was really keeping that curl nice. And I like this mascara a lot. Now, now, I can't wear this on my bottom lashes because it does have a tendency to smudge just a tiny bit. But I do like the way that it makes my top lashes look. And I like that it separates. It gives that curl that That's really good. helps them stay up all day. And I really like that about it. But... I think that I like my Maybelline Lash Sensational better. Now this is in the waterproof formula. So if I put this on my bottom lashes, this does not smudge all over. And as you can see, it does basically have that same curled um, wand to it, which I do like that wand. I feel like you can get it down in the corners really good on both of them. And I feel like this gives the same properties as far as keeping that curl during the day, 
lifting, separating, and you can get quite a good length out of it as well. The nice thing about this one is that it does come in the waterproof formula, and I don't have to worry about any smudging or anything during these hot summer months. So in my mind, even though it does the same thing as far as these two goes, this one wins out because there's no smudging. And I will say that this has to have some sort of a waterproof eye makeup remover. Sephora has a really good one. My favorite one is by Good Molecules. It's their balm. And I also love the Hot Alabo, which I'll try to list all those below so you have some options for waterproof remover. But this is so good, you guys. I really love it. And I feel like absolute dupe. A little bit ago, Cover FX is no longer affiliated with Sephora. So they had everything half off when yeah. everything opened back up. And so I just happened upon a Sephora just at the right time. And I got tons of things that were half off. And I was like, this is cool. So they have a corrector and it is in a stick formula right there. And this is the peach. They had several different colors, but because I use peach the most, I wanted to give this a try. This is a very soft product as far as putting down that peach. It just puts it down in a balm-like manner. It's almost like a lipstick cream almost, maybe almost like a satin, but it goes down really easy on there. And I really like it. It does a really good job of covering those really back dark circles before I put on my concealer. Just really, really like this a lot. And I did fall in love with it, but I realized that I can't use that all the time. And the other thing is, is that during the summer months, it has a tendency to be a little bit slippery. And so I don't know if I like it as much during the summer months as I did when it wasn't so hot. But you guys, I've talked about this on my channel before and I feel like not only is this a dupe in color, but it's a dupe in formula, but I think it's a step above. And I'll tell you why. Because when you use this, you're getting the same color as the um, Cover FX one. This is a little bit thinner of a formula. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get something that will set down and not mix with your concealer. So I put this on in a very, I actually put them both on in a very thin uh, coat across my under eyes and I tap it out. And then I let it set, but I find that once I go in with my concealer, the LA Girl one, let me turn that around, the LA Girl one has completely sat down. Whereas the um, Cover FX one, it might, just kind of mix with the concealer a little bit. So I actually don't think this is a dupe. I actually think this is better than the Cover FX one. Even though I like that and I like the emollients of it, I feel like because this one sits down, I don't have any problems with it through the day increasing. So I actually feel like this is better than this one. And then speaking of concealer, so many of you, myself included, love the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I really do like this stuff, you guys, and I love how much they give you, but I decided a while ago that Too Faced wasn't a company that I really could appreciate like I used to, so I actually kind of stopped buying from them, and I'm really sad because this is one that I feel like is just such a great concealer for mature eyes as far as a higher end concealer. And you do get a lot in here and I really appreciate that about it too. So it's got a huge doe foot applicator, which I think is great. Um, and like I said, it does have a lot of product in here. However, I have been looking for a dupe for it for a long time. And I think I finally came up with trying all of my other concealers and seeing if I could find a dupe. And that is with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. You guys, this is such a dang good concealer, and I actually put it in my top five at the drugstore concealers. The doe foot applicator is a little bit bigger, and I think that this one performs exactly like it. I have this one on this side, this one on this side, and honestly, you guys, it wears the same throughout the day. It, it does really well with mature eyes. It doesn't do a lot of creasing, and if you give it a few minutes before you actually go in with powder, you're gonna like it a little bit better because it's gonna sit down even more. And it's hydrating too. And I think that might be what this one is. It's just a tiny bit creamier without being too drying. And I love the e.l.f. for that. So if you guys have wondered about this, but you couldn't step into this price tag, try the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I really love it. This is the hydrating one, by the way. I wanna make sure I say that because it definitely is different than the original formula. And this is definitely different than Tarte Shape Tape. So that original one is actually, I'll just list this here. Why don't I do that? The original one for Tarte Shape Tape, if you guys have used that, you love it. The e.l.f. Camel Concealer dupes that one, but this one is gonna dupe the Too Faced one in the hydrating formula. So another so. one that I just thought was a really, really great dupe. Okay, this one, 
is the last one, but it's probably the one I'm super excited about because I didn't even have to search for it. It was like, it was just there. I recently picked up a lipstick from Buxom and this is their, let's see, what is this called? Rockstar. And it is this beautiful plummy purple color, rich formula that I think is so great. I don't have anywhere to put it. Rich formula that I think is so pretty on the skin for anybody that loves cool tone lipsticks. It's like a kind of a fuchsia, uh, mauve pink color so very very cool toned but i think that anybody has a neutral tone you could definitely wear it and if you're somebody that loves like purpley toned mauve toned lipsticks you can definitely do this i love the tip the texture of it it's super creamy super buttery i feel like it just was absolutely gorgeous when i first put it on i put it on and i looked at my husband and i said i know it the dupe is for this immediately dupe in color and texture and the way it wears you guys all three of those and this is the Maybelline Ellipse Sensational and this is on the mauve I have worn on the mauve forever and I was looking at this and I'm like no way this can't be a dupe for it I put it on there and I'm like holy smoly it is a dupe for it I was so excited about that you guys it is just the texture of it it wears the same way it's a cream lipstick the same way and I just think they're so pretty and I love both of them but I was excited to be able to bring you that the Maybelline is exactly the same I know that once it gets on your lips there's no way to tell a difference in either one of them this might be a little bit more saturated with its color I don't know probably not but I do love that I found that and I was so excited to be able to share it with you guys it was one of those ones that I was like yes I found a really really good dupe so definitely love both of those but think that the Maybelline if you can't afford a buxom lipstick because they can get pricey is really good so that is it for today's video that's my cheaper and better things that I found at the drugstore that replaced my high-end products and I hope that you did like it and again please don't forget to give this thumb this video a thumbs up so that it can help my video I do appreciate you helping out my channel so very much you guys I hope you're all doing well I hope everybody is staying in and staying healthy it's very warm where I am and it's supposed to get warmer and I hope that everybody's staying safe stay sanitized stay hydrated and I will catch you guys all in my very next video love you much bye bye